Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we are going to be learning how to differentiate the factorial function. Now most people live and die without knowing how to differentiate the factorial function and this is unacceptable. So I have taken the courtesy of teaching you guys how to do that today. Now let's get right into it. The x, factor x factorial can be written in two ways. Now I have mentioned one of them before in one of my videos but I haven't mentioned the second at all. Now let me show you both of them. So x factorial is equal to the gamma function of x plus 1, which is also equal to the pi function of x. Now, I have mentioned the gamma function of x plus 1 in my first integral video on this channel. However, I've never mentioned the pi function on my channel before. Now within the next three or four videos, I will post two videos talking about each one of those functions uh, in detail and we'll get into it how to derive them what we use them in how important they are however for this channel we only need to know one thing and what these two function equal now let me show you what they equal uh, on this small board right here so the gamma function of x plus one slash the pi function of x is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of t to the x multiplied by e to the negative t dt. That's what these two uh, functions equal. And that's what we're going to be using today. So let me just remove this question mark right here so we can write in place of it. And I'll remove these two so we can use the right side of the board as well. Okay. So dy over dx is equal to d over dx of this integral from 0 to infinity of uh, t to the power of x multiplied by e to the power of negative t dt. Now this is a multivariable integral. Now we're going to have to use the Leibniz integral rule and I will show you I'll, I'll write the name of the rule in the description so you can search it up i'll even link the wikipedia page of the rule now his rule states that if we want to differentiate a multivariable integral we can actually take the partial differentiation of the function inside the integral with respect to the variable we want to differentiate treating the second variable as a constant now i'll explain that clearly right now so let's just write that this is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of the partial differentiation of t times x uh, multiplied by e to the power of negative t dt. Now, we treat t here as a constant and will differentiate with respect to x. That's what we're going to do. So basically, all we're going to do is differentiate this exponential function. That's it. So, I don't know if you all know how to differentiate an exponential function, but I'll show you right here. I'll create this box on the right right here. And this, in here, I will differentiate this exponential function. So let's let k equal t to the power of x. So let's take the ln of both sides here. So ln k is equal to x ln t. Now, what we want to do is differentiate both sides. So on the left-hand side, the differentiation of this is just dk over uh, k. And on the right-hand side, remember, t is a constant. We're treating t as a constant. So lin t, we treat it as a number. So let's say we want to differentiate 5x. The differential of 5x is just 5. So the differential of x multiplied by lin t will be just lin t. And this means that dk is equal to k multiplied by lin t. Now, what did we say k was? k was t to the power of x. So let's replace k here with t to the power of x. Now, that's how we differentiate an exponential function. Very easy. Now, all we have to do is just substitute this differential here, removing the partial differential and the t to the power of x. And just like that, we have just solved it. So let me just split the board here. And I'll write my answer right here. So I'll just put answer. 
So, the differential of uh, the factorial function is just the integral from 0 to infinity of t to the x multiplied by lin t multiplied by e to the power of negative t dt. And just like that, we have done the differential of x factorial. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned something today. This is something to show your friends. It's, it's a neat trick, you know, impress some people. It's pretty cool to know and sometimes very useful when doing a massive integral or differentiation problem.